Jay Drone here. This is the Birchwood Inn and Resorts. And uh, we're going to give you a very quick tour of a small bit of this property. It's completely abandoned. Um, every building you see here is abandoned. And there are tons of buildings. Tons of buildings over there. There's a body of water off to the right. There's buildings identical to the one in front of us. Larger ones. All that surround a pond. Um, this, it's really eerie. I mean, this is a very cool place. Uh, I found this with my wife just by chance, and uh, I'm really stoked that I found it. And again, all these buildings, it honestly looks like they just up and left. I've done no research on the history of this. I will be doing the research on the history of this place after this because I have tons of photos. And if you're interested in those photos, I'm going to leave a link down below um, to the abandoned group that I run. It's kind of abandoned area, abandoned cars, vehicles, and whatnot. And there, there's going to be tons of pictures. My wife took tons of pictures. I took tons of pictures. But right now, we're just giving you a really quick look. This is kind of the front of the property. Um, the check-in desk would have been all the way up there, that blue building. And in here, you'll be able to tell what this was. Tennis court. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, give a little fly-through in here. And again, I mean... There's roller skates on the ground, tennis shoes on the ground. This was a miniature golf area. Um, it honestly looks like somebody picked up all the people from here and just dipped. <laughs> but like there was no preparation in shutting this place down. And as you can see here, this is an indoor tennis court. There is an outdoor tennis court on the opposite side of this, uh, right outside the door there. I believe uh, I show you that when we go out. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, obviously people have been through here they haven't destroyed too much and please 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 if you are visiting abandoned places do not spray paint do not destroy um, especially ones that are as open as this because once you start spray painting destroying and burning stuff that's how these places get closed up and they're no longer able to be viewed um, you see a little bit of spray paint on the back wall for the most part this place has been unscathed and uh, I'm happy of that a little skill flight here under the chair <laughs> um, but yeah I mean it's astonishing I, I've dude, t this past yesterday was the first time I've actually stayed in a resort resort and I stayed there with my wife and it was pretty awesome um, and this I guess would be like a high magnitude resort where you have bowling alley tennis court in and out and uh, just all types of stuff and as you can see a little bit of the property, there are some more buildings over there. There is a body of water behind those trees. And excuse the shake coming down. The Hubson X4, if you bring it down too quickly, you will get that. <laughs> that's not jello, that's the quad just kind of coming down unsteady. And those were they, those were hotel rooms or suites around around the lake. I'm Jay Drone. If you want to check out more abandoned stuff, go to uh, Abandoned Finds. The link's at the bottom. Have a wonderful day, and if you haven't subscribed, please do.